What's up guys, it's Al Cheeseman here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can grow your Instagram and set it all up with Jarvi. It's really easy to do and I'll point out some key elements of this process. First off, simply go over to add profile up in the top left hand corner and add your Instagram profile. Give it a name to save confusion, perhaps a description. This will automatically populate once the account is connected. Type in your username and your password and click verify account. If you have problems with verifying your account you can also try their browser. Here you can manually fill your login on the Instagram browser. Once you're all connected up go over to tools here and then you'll see all the functions that Jarvi's Instagram bot will do for you. We're going to leave this bit for a minute because we actually need the follow sources, the stuff that we're going to tell our bot to perform the actions on first before we tell the bot to perform the actions. So if we click follow sources here, you can see that you can target by loads and loads of different things. So we've got keyword search, username, bio keywords, we've got followers following of targeted accounts follow friends of existing friends, specific users, following for geolocation, users that are interacted with posts on, on accounts that you've targeted. The simplest way to set this up is to go for follow people by keyword search. You can choose multiple follow sources to narrow down your targeting. Once you've entered your target keyword, you can go to settings here and fill out all of these parameters so the bot can start performing the actions for you. This section here is to do with timers, so it's how long the bot's going to wait before doing each new operation. You can choose how many actions for it to do per operation and how much delay per action. You can also choose when these actions are executed, add a random sleep time and stop the tool after a certain amount of follows. This can really help you run Jarvi safely. Another section you'll have to fill out is the follow limits. New accounts, make sure this is extremely low. And as you can see here, you can increase the amount of followings as the days go by. Make sure you click automatic follow unfollow. This section is the user filters. So it's the filter on accounts to help us get the best follow sources. As you can see, there's loads and loads and loads of different parameters to choose from. The main ones you want is to skip non-English users, users that have profile image, users that have a number of posts. I always do around five. This is so you know that the user is actually active and posting. Users has a number of followings, followers in a specific range. This is important because it will help you get away from accounts that are spamming or just following and following people all day trying to get clicks to their Instagram account just like what we're doing. I usually set this to 500 and a minimum of 30 followers so you know that their account's not completely dead. Depending on what your Instagram account is or what you're promoting you may want to skip accounts with a website, you may want to skip business accounts or you may want to follow only business accounts, it really depends on your product. For example, your keyword is a service, you might want to skip other business accounts that are offering the same service as you. This will help you get a better follow back ratio and more interaction with your bio link. Here are some little extras that you can use to help you get more attention. Like to use as latest posts, so you can choose how many posts you'd like to do at a maximum per day. You can also choose to like random posts. You can choose to comment on users' latest posts. This is very powerful so you can attract them back to your profile. You can also send a direct message after follow. This really helps to get interacting with them as soon as you follow them. It's important when going through this software that you do remove poor quality sources because some hashtags, some targeting you do won't get you any follow backs whatsoever because you're simply just following the wrong people. Leave this, leave this at 0 0.1 so you know when it gets way too low it will just cut it off and you can start again. So what are the recommended settings? I recommend 10 to 
30. And 2 to 5 is more than enough for a count that's literally just been set up. Time is not too much of a problem, but if you want to optimise this, you can do it for when most people are using Instagram. For example, not extremely late at night in whichever country you're geo-targeting. Again, follow limits, be very careful with this. Maybe start off around 100 to 200 per day for brand new accounts. The exact same rules apply for like, though these are slightly different. Again, sources, the targeting is relatively similar. Go for a hashtag if you want to get set up quickly, the basic search. Then fill out your run timers, your liking limits, and your user filters. Remember, skip non-English users, users that have a profile image. It's up to you whether or not you use user has a number of followings, followers in a specific range. But I use this because it seems to get a much better follow back ratio. Again, depending on your products, you can skip business accounts, skip accounts with websites, for example. This is where liking is slightly different. So here you have post filters, you can choose whether they've been posted in the last X amount of days. Filtered posts by likes, filtered posts by comments. Posts with a small number of likes and comments are more likely to see your likes and comments on their posts, which will ultimately give you more traffic back to your profile. Again, just like our after follow actions, we have after like actions. So you can re-like a post, enable like comments after the post is liked and also remove poor quality sources. This is important again so that you can get the most out of Java. So comments. Again the run timers, the limits are all the same, the user filters are all the same. Comments you have to be careful on because you don't want to make them look like spam. You want to be using comments like great post, Check out my profile link for a treat. Things like that to attract people from the post over to your bio link or your page to get them to follow you. Whatever the result you're looking for is. Again, sources is exactly the same. So with comments I suggest between 40 and 120 minutes before each operation. Keep it really small, so one to two posts, especially if you've got a new account. If your account's bigger and you've been automating for a while, perhaps step this up a little bit to 45 comments a day, 54 comments a day. Again, you can change when to execute these actions. Comment limits, like I said, go down to around 50 for new accounts. Obviously, you can raise this limit and you can do this very quickly as the days go by and the more actions the bot's performing for you. When doing comments, I always tick limit maximum number of comments per user and leave it at one. User filters, again, skip non-English. There aren't as many filters as the other actions, but still, these can help. Picking users not following this account will help you interact more with new potential customers rather than the ones you're already following or who are already following you. And like all the other actions, you've got an after action. So after comment actions, the best ones to use are like post after comment and follow the user after the comment. Remember to remove poor quality sources so that you can get the most out of the Instagram software. Using Jarvi's Story Viewer will help you get traffic back to your profile. Again, it's really simple. It's got the run timers the limits, the filters, choose which sources, go for keywords if you want a quick setup, fill out your timers, remember if your account's new you might want to keep this small, and press start and the bot will start viewing stories for you. You can see in results how many stories that you have viewed and which ones specifically.
click the subscribe button below to stay up to date on my latest free traffic videos.